Hello everybody, how y'all doing? In this video, I'm gonna do some toolbox upgrades. Bought this about a year ago, I think now, and I've slowly been, did that water just fall right on the lens? No, it didn't, okay. So, slowly been uh, upgrading and uh, adding tools, and I've kinda got to the point where I've overgrown uh, what I have here, which I knew was gonna happen. I planned on, I planned on uh, adding on, but I've got like pretty much every drawer fuller than I would even want it to be as far as being organized for the most part. So uh, I wanted to add some storage. So my idea, I looked online and I saw a lot of people with all the uh, fancy toolboxes with the kind of the enclosed top section. As I was saying, I looked online and saw a lot of people with the enclosed top section. So kind of have that a little bit here because we've got this side wall with this end cabinet so I got to look and I'm like all right well I need to add some storage obviously I'm gonna add something on that side so I'm like why don't I grab another one of these end cabinets which is you know a closable cabinet in it now it can open either way you can set up the door so it opens the other way uh, which is what I'll want to do I actually think I changed the door so I think it comes opening up the proper way for this side but anyhow, uh, so I said, yeah, if I add another one of these cabinets, that'll give me another wall on this side. So kind of create this enclosed space here. And I'm like, well, why don't I put a backdrop and then a top on it and uh, try to close it all in. And then I can get my, uh, you know, computer monitor up here and just use this as kind of like a desk area along with uh, maybe a pegboard in the back here to hang things that I need to do. And then uh, kind of have that same effect. And then the top that goes across the top will end up, you know, this is just a shelf on the wall right now, but we'll connect it to the toolbox and then I'll still have that whole top to put things on top up there. So, uh, so what I did is I ran to the local Home Depot and okay. Now this, this is the end cabinet right here and I got some strapping and this I think it's a two by four two feet by four foot piece of uh, pegboard a little bit of paint to make it black instead of this bright white that it is because that'll get dirty really quick and uh, got your little organizer kit for pegboard so we can uh, utilize that so uh, yeah let's uh, see what we can make here with what we got and uh, hopefully the end product is something that uh, is actually worth making this video about. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna get caught up in this life. I'm crazy, I'm mad. Doing no cap. Only God wants you better go live it up. Cash in the bag, stadium pack. Baby, I'm bad. Yeah. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder cause they treat me like an outcast I ain't gonna take that, stay back, I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me, ain't nobody like that I ain't gonna wait, that's all fat, give me one shot and I'll never get the throne back I'm sick of being cautious, I'ma go cause something, can't stop this I'ma steal everybody's lane, call it shoplift, sick of hearing everyone complain when they thoughtless Taste the pain, it's like candy canes It makes me go change into a better frame Into a better name, society's insane We all live for fame, yeah Cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gon' live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm mad, do it no cap Only God wants you, better go live it up Cash in the bag, stadium pack Baby, I'm bad, baby, I'm bad Yeah. 
I'm mad, do it no cap Only got one, so you better go live it up Cash in the bag, stay young cat Baby, I'm bad, baby, I'm bad of course the box is dented. Why wouldn't it be? Oh, that's bad. That's Harbor Freight for you, I guess. Hopefully I can get a discount on that. I'm gonna show them this video and maybe 20% off or 15% off or something for the damage. That's why I'm glad I videotaped taking it out of the truck. Told you what to chase Told you how to run the race Every move was on the page But I didn't like their way Had to fight and misbehave Had to find a way to change Had to leave to find my way Caught up in a daydream I beat my mind up there almost daily It's how I pass time, no opinions safely It's how I understand what I want in this place see. Cause everybody wanna tell you bad things What could go wrong, what fame brings But success is a finicky thing And if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be I don't wanna let myself down myself We got it all organized enough for a quick yeah quick everything's always quick right uh, toolbox tour always a work in progress as you guys know you add tools you're always rearranging things uh, I just kind of like everything to have a place to go when you're done with it and so you know it's missing I'm far from that right now but uh, we'll just go through it quickly here Right now, I've just got some solvents in here. I got some brake clean, uh, you know, various magnets. We got some uh, bits for your uh, electric screwdriver, some spare batteries, 
uh, GoPro deal here. Next, uh, next one down, we've got a uh, battery, or not a battery, a electric uh, grinder, uh, angle die grinder. And then I got one of these deals here, the uh, reciprocating saw deals. Uh, yeah, I think this is like 20 bucks or whatever at Harbor Freight. These things are actually really, really cool. They do a good job. If you, what I did is got the pricier blade. Get yourself a good blade. It's just kind of like a hacksaw, a really fast, powerful hacksaw that you can get in anywhere, you know, which is really nice. Usually you need that swing for a saw. This you can just push right into and cut just got a sander back there uh, for when i'm doing some body work just kind of a place for electric tools for now uh, this is a multimeter uh, down here we've got uh, this is the case for my uh, code scanner my launch uh, bi-directional cold code scanner this is a compression tester uh, we've got a uh, leak down tester for cylinder leak down testing obviously Fuel service uh, injection kit. So this is for checking for fuel pressure. Make sure your fuel pump's not junk. Tire repair kit right here. Uh, just full of plugs and all that type of stuff. Okay, this drawer here, we just have some random stuff. I got a uh, air conditioner. Uh, uh, what do you call this? A, uh, I don't know what you call it. But for filling up air conditioning units, you got the uh, the gauge on it. These are just some spare parts, uh, rivet stuff, uh, rivet gun, I got a uh, spare headlight, just some weird odds and ends kind of. This could obviously be ar uh, arranged a lot better and uh, be utilized better, but that's the side cabinet for now on the one that I already had, the old one. Let's pop over to the new one. I basically took some of the stuff over from there and brought it over here just to give myself some more room and some some uh, room for expansion in the future. Uh, before I get to that, this is the whole main idea I added this cabinet was to have this cubby. So you can see we've got a nice enclosed area right here where I've got the computer monitor I'm going to hook up. I'm going to have it set up so you could just hook up your USB-C right into uh, you know a tablet or a laptop or whatever. This is a Surface Go that I'm using. Uh, you know, it's basically just a mini Windows computer that's also a tablet. That's what I like to use to bring in cars to do uh, any if I'm using HP tuners or doing uh, all data, looking anything up. Uh, but it's nice to have this big screen here when I'm looking on the internet and uh, watching any type of videos, how tos. Uh, I can also go on all data, obviously. Uh, to look up things, look up parts, all that type of stuff. You know, I don't need to tell you why you might need a computer as far as uh, cars go, but that's that. Here's the upper shelf right here. Right now, I've just got uh, my Milwaukee, you know, cordless stuff up here. I've got some of the, uh, these are the brackets that I can now use on my pegboard here when I want to hang some stuff. I haven't really organized that yet. I'm obviously going to get some stuff up in the background. I got to figure out what's going on with this monitor and the computer. That's going to be kind of priority. And then the extra space that I have left over, I'll probably fill in. And then I've got my chargers over here. Uh, 12 volt power source back there just for checking things without a battery. I just clip my magnetic phone mount right here. So it's charging while I'm down here and I'm able to uh, keep an eye on it. Okay, so back to the new side cabinet. I've just got, uh, so these are some drill bits. Uh, these are some saw blades, and we've got some uh, bits for the air hammer that I've got here. Uh, these are some replace replacement bits for the uh, die grinder here. These are really, really nice. They're also expensive. I think they're like 60, 70 bucks for the little kit of four pieces. Uh, but these are great just to do uh, fine grinding on any type of metal or plastic or whatever. So this little deal here is nice and small. You can get in tight areas and really do a lot of work with this. That's a great, great tool to have if you don't have one. Awesome. Also got a little air saw here just for cutting body panels and tight little areas and stuff like that. Really nice to have. So I don't have a ton of air tools. Uh, next shelf down, I've got my, my launch. This is my uh, bi-directional uh, code scanner, you know... Uh, Basically a diagnostic tool right here. I've just got, this is a thermometer. You just go ahead and uh, point it at a surface and it'll tell you the temperature. Uh, Maxi TPMS, which is the uh, computer for doing uh, TPM, TPMS sensors and reading them and programming them. Uh, this is a uh, camera, the little, little end on it that you can slide down in inside of a cylinder or in a tight area and, and uh, get, a, get a peek at what's going on. 
Back here, I've got a uh, Viking, uh, what is it, uh, charge pack, jump pack. This is really nice. You got uh, different outputs and inputs. You can, you know, charge your cell phone with it, or you can plug in your uh, regular deals there to jump start. So there's that. Next step down, I just continue on with some of these plastic case uh, items that I have. This one here I got is a uh, dial indicator. This is my dial indicator with a uh, vice grip clamp on it. And then we've got the magnetic base that goes with it. So that's going to stay with that. Uh, I just use this for doing the rear ends on the Jeep. The uh, axles, I should say, the rear and the front. Those came out great. Uh, this here, we've got a uh, just a cheapy uh, bolt type wheel puller for steering wheels and small pulleys and things like that. And then we've got a uh, bearing and seal, uh, bearing race and seal driver set, which is just your round uh, for pounding seals and, and races in. So that's that. In here, basically nothing. I just got some spare bearings that I have left over. Uh, from doing axle work for now these are set up bearings for doing uh, axles the insides are ground out a little bit just so you can slide them onto the pinion shaft and be able to take them off when you're putting in the correct shims i got some extra shims here a uh, place for that under here on the ground i've got my slide hammer so that's that and now for the drawers which not much has changed in here i do have a few different things if you've watched any of my other videos so if you have seen this before and you're not interested Go ahead and skip ahead. That's fine. I did grab one of those little label maker deals and uh, I went and put all different, uh, you know, categories of basically in what's each for what what is in each of the drawers. Uh, a lot of times I find myself not having to do that, not have to read them. But there are t times when I got something on my mind and I really just try not to think about what drawer is something in. And uh, it's just nice to to. Uh, reassure yourself before you open the drawer this is one of the biggest mistakes is i kept making this is the main reason i did it is i need a wrench i've got my metric wrenches in one drawer and i've got my sae wrenches in the other and i'd always open the wrong drawer you know i was going for is it the top one is metric or this you know so i know it's these two drawers but i didn't know which one you know so this kind of gives me a quick okay i need a metric wrench all right i know you know so no big deal so we'll start at the top we've got uh, labeled as ratchets and sockets which is pretty much what's in here ratchets and sockets uh, I've got these two uh, Milwaukee kits. It's quarter inch, three eighths drive, half inch drive, uh, impact in uh, standard and metric. Some large sockets over here. Specialty type of sockets in here. We've got some flex, flex, uh, <clears throat> flex sockets here in both American and standard. I mean standard and metric. Sorry. Some long extensions. Different extensions in here, wobbles, smaller extensions. This actually should be in there. Uh, then I've got uh, ratchets wise. This is what I got for. Uh, I got a regular Pittsburgh breaker bar. I've got a regular Pittsburgh half inch drive. Then I've got, let's see. These are the icon. Let's see what else I got in here. All right, the rest of these are Craftsman. I've got this right here. All right, so we've got uh, this is an old school snap on, still works great. Just your basic regular 3 8 inch ratchet. I got that in there. These are just uh, Craftsman and some older ones. I got these two uh, icon. These are the new, uh, you know, flex head or swivel head. I forget what they call. They call them, but I uh, just picked these up. These are really nice. So. Uh, I'll demonstrate. Say you have, we've got a uh, whatever 11 millimeter uh, bolt that you're you're going to loosen up. You got it, or we'll say we'll loosen it up. Let's go this way. We're going to loosen it up, and you get to the point where you don't have to keep going like this. You can just swivel it right up, and then you can use it really quick like a screwdriver, basically. So these are really nice to have for that reason. So I've got that three eighths and quarter inch drive. Then I've got these two, which are just your Pittsburgh. Uh, oh, they are. These are the Professional Series Pittsburgh, which is a step down, I guess, from the Icon, but a step up from the basic Pittsburgh green handled things, from what I understand. So these are decent, although if we look here, it looks like this. Uh, I'm going to leave this out because it looks like that's 
screws coming out here. Let's go ahead and fix that really quick with a see if I got a Torx really quick here. We can no, oh, of course you don't. It's pretty small little Torx. All right, I'll fix that another time. Looks like that's backing off. But other than that, I haven't had any problems with them. These are also uh, flip up like this, so you can kind of use them similar to the other ones. So we got our quarter inch there. I would like to organize these ratchets a little better in a nice straight line if I had some more room. I may do some moving around of some drawers to be able to do that. I'm not sure. But it would be nice to have these all in a nice straight line so you can just pick one without having to move the other ones. So here's your half inch. And your big breaker bar here. So hopefully that camera wasn't too far off. And then, uh, like I said, I got these two sets here. These also have their own ratchets built in, uh, just basic plain Jane ratchets. This would be very similar to our snap-on here, right there. This is the Milwaukee, and there's your snap-on. Pretty similar uh, thickness and style. So, I am missing my 19 deep. I got to find out where that is. I know I was taking some wheels off somewhere. I think I have them in one of the trucks uh, gotta find that so anyways moving on now we'll go over to here uh, this is our metric wrench drawer uh, which is as you can imagine metric wrenches icon uh, professional series here we've got uh, 6 to 19 with no skips here we've got uh, just the regular pittsburgh low price i think they're like 25 bucks for the whole set uh, this is, I believe, 10 through 15 millimeter. Got an extra 10 millimeter wrench just because 10 millimeter. Uh, and then I've got these offset. Uh, I believe these were, I got these at AutoZone. They're called AutoCraft. Maybe I bought them at Napa. I'm not sure. But AutoCraft brand, these seem to be holding up pretty good. Uh, you know, offset uh, box, box wrench. Right here we've got our uh, Icon Series, uh, what are they, Crow's Feet. Back here we've got Ratchet Wrenches from Gear Wrench. We've got, uh, let's see, 6 millimeter, 8 millimeter, then 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. You've got no 19 because you would use your 3 quarter as Pretty much identical to 19 millimeter and i have this other set the same set in standard and it has the three quarter so that's good uh and then this is uh stubby wrenches the icon professional series i just bought these as you can tell they're the cleanest of all the tools i've been coming across a ton of times where i'm in working in tight areas here working on 13 millimeter what i end up doing is I'll grab something like this to use as a short wrench, put a little angle on it, and that's the shortest I could get it to work. Well, now with uh, these stubbies, I got a nice little compact wrench here. So I'm excited to use these, put these to good use. So there's our metric. This is SAE, which is pretty much the same. Everything is the same as what you've got up here, except I don't have the offset box, wrench, box wrenches right here. Everything else is the same, I believe. Oh, I don't have the crow's feet either. I just have crow's feet in the metric. So down here, we've got quarter inch all the way up to one inch on these uh, wrenches, full-size wrenches. Then we've got our quarter inch to three-quarter inch of the stubbies that I just picked up as well. Here's our gear wrench. Uh, like I said, this does go up to three-quarter, so if you're wanting a regular ratchet, this basically can double as a 19 millimeter if you needed it. And then works its way down to quarter inch. And then we've got that same set here, which is the uh, flex head with the uh, ratchet. So there's that. Next down, screwdriver drawer. Nothing fancy here. I got a set of Milwaukee with your uh, flathead and your Phillips. These are the electrical screwdrivers that are designed to not short something out if you're going you know into a fuse box or something you don't short out the side that's why it's got the little protective coating on them just a cheap little set these are your two dollar picks i replace these almost every time i go to harbor freight i pick up a set of those these are great to have for two dollars you can't beat them it's uh, what's that 50 cents a piece got some torques right here more of your common sizes just to grab quick 
That actually might be the right size I need for that ratchet that I put away that I said I was going to keep out. Let's see that shot. Quick shot right here. Where'd we go with it? Right here. Nope. Smaller than that. There we go. Still put it back in the drawer. So there's that drawer. Next drawer, this is electrical. This is just kind of a hodgepodge of electrical. Oh, now it's more of a hodgepodge. Electrical connectors everywhere. Spark tester, some wire, test lights. Got some solder in here. There's test leads that you can pull out for as long as you need. The jumping wires. Some batteries in here. Just electrical type of stuff. Wire strippers. Uh, these are... Should be in the front. I don't know why they're back there. Shrink butt connectors. So obviously I could do some organization in here. Kind of just the electrical drawer. Obviously I've got a bunch of other electrical stuff too, but this is kind of more the common go-to stuff. Some shrink wrap in here as well. All right, next step down. If it's gonna let me, there we go. Tap and die and measuring. Uh, we've got dial uh, caliper, a digital caliper here. We've got a American and metric cheapy tap and die set. Kind of a piece of crap. Arbor Freight special. I figured if I use it enough, I'll replace it with a better one. I have used it a few times. It works, you know, decent. It's not the best. They're not very precision for the threads, but they've got me through a couple of binds. Uh, in here we've just got some some random uh we got loctite some you know uh gasket maker type stuff gasket sealers that type of stuff uh dielectric grease more dielectric grease some jb welds some epoxy and we've got some uh easy threads what do they call these i forgot what they call helicoil got a helicoil here i believe for uh i think it was eight millimeter whatever it was but uh yeah so there's that drawer and then last drawer is the pliers drawer i've got uh you know some needle nose with the pulling hoses out you know long ones got some straight ones right angle got a couple sets of the uh what are these nipex cobra uh you know sliding adjustable uh channel lock style wrenches I've got a uh the Pittsburgh uh, adjustable wrench here. Uh, Nipex got some side diagonal cutters here. Really like the Nipex stuff. Seems to hold out really nice. I've also got these are the Icon Professional flush cut uh, cutters. These are really good when you're cutting zip ties, so you don't leave that little bit left on the zip tie that you end up cutting yourself with. Uh, these are a set of Milwaukee uh, vice grips, different styles. Got some other vice grips here, some uh, push panel pin puller pliers, wire strippers, some uh, O-ring or C-clip -clip type pliers. Uh, these are just some cutters, some little needle nose, basic pair of regular pliers, some more wire strippers, lineman's pliers. I could use some more pliers, as you can tell. I've got a monkey wrench that I've put a good bend into. And then I've got uh, kind of an awkward place for that. I don't think that belongs in there. The rivet. Rivet gun, I think. Oh, we didn't get to that one. Put that back over here. That should go in there. All right, so there's that. And then we'll start back up here. This is the hammer drawer. Carpenter's type claw hammer. We've got uh, ball peen, a couple of shot peen hammers. Got a little mini sledge and a rubber mallet. I've got another big, bigger rubber mallet kicking around somewhere here that goes in here. This drawer we've got some punches, a couple of pry bars, scrapers, gasket scraper, brake line kit for uh, flaring brake lines. Got some line crimps, a couple of specialty tools in here. Uh, these for pulling off your uh, quick release connectors. These two, these are for Duramax special tools for holding the flywheel doing a water pump I think it was this here is a rear disc brake caliper uh, unit for turning them back in just kind of a doll whole bunch of different types we've got some uh, 
Man, I can't think today. Feeler gauges, spark plug gapper, rear brake spoon. It's about it in this drawer. Allen's and Torx. We've got a set of gear wrench. I've already broken quite a few of these. You can see this one's broken, this one's broken. I guess that's it, just those two. I know I got another one's got a good twist on it. Yeah, right here, this one here as well. So I'd like to replace those soon. These are a couple of the Pittsburgh larger hex here. This is a standalone that I had. Get this all up under here, trying to straighten it up. Got some larger Torx here, some really big specialty for like brake calipers and certain things here. Got some uh, triple squares for European cars. Some of the axles and stuff use those. Your typical regular Allen keys with the ball ends on both of those. And this actually belongs in the screwdriver drawer. Or, yeah, screwdriver drawer. Stick that right there. So that's that drawer. Working on down. This is scrapers and wire brushes. Kind of just gasket scrapers. I got some panel removal tools. Awkward place for my oil filter wrench. Not sure where I should put that. We're going to put that in here for now. We've got this that belongs in the electrical drawer. This is just a helping hand. It's basically a magnetic. This goes into here. And you can hold wires when you're soldering them or whatever you need to do here. That doesn't belong in there. Then we've got some wire brushes, some more scrapers, that type of stuff. These actually I want to move up into here. Actually, these go with our die grinder, so I'll put them over there. Wire brushes, scrapers, that's it for here. Got this little icon set. I haven't used that much, but... Uh, this is really good for getting off uh, stuck radiator hoses. You can kind of stick this in and pry it free. Good gasket scraper here. Uh, yeah, okay. Actually, I'm going to steal this gasket scraper and put it down here because that wants to be the drawer that I want to go for for gasket scraping. Next one down, torque wrenches. Got my half inch and my quarter inch, I think, for, for, yeah, for inch pounds. Got a random stapler in here. Little old small breaker bar. These are just some extra wrenches and a few sockets uh, that didn't really fit up top. I didn't really wanna try to jam those in, but sometimes you need a second wrench of the same size to hold the other side when you got a nut and a bolt, so kinda use that for that. And then the final drawer is just kind of a hodgepodge of things. We've got tailgate expander. We've got a cylinder honer. We've got a three-jaw puller. Some random spark plugs. Here's another puller that I actually just replaced with a puller kit in there. But I'll keep this just in case. You never know. Uh, this is just a small valve spring compressor for small engines. This goes along with that. And uh, we've got some valve shims for working on dirt bikes. We've got some D-rings that I haven't put on my trailer yet. And these are Harley parts. These are the riser rubber insulator dampening kit that I've yet to put in. So that's it for there. And I believe that's it. That completes the toolbox tour. Hope I didn't bore you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and getting a few things done down here at the shop. Got a toolbox set up really nice now. Pretty happy with that. Won't be long before I'm going to need some more storage space though, I'm sure. So at this point, I'll probably get a whole other separate cabinet that's got a top to use as a workbench as well, which would be, you can never have too much, you know, workbenches and space to work. So as it is now, I don't have much. I, I planned on putting a bunch of workbenches in here when I first moved in, but I've slowly filled up that area with machines. <laughs> so but it's nice to have this stuff, and uh, I'm glad and thankful of all the things that I have acquired in the short time that I've been down here. And, uh, yeah, so happy motoring, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.